Hey guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing well. So earlier this week I decided to give my two weeks notice and I quit my job. To kind of celebrate that I decided to get myself a new toy. So let's see what I got. Let's get rid of that uh, packing paper and I think we're gonna do a dramatic reveal here. Um, so what I got was the Iwata Custom Micron. I actually got this from a store in, here in Canada called Maple Airbrush Supplies. Pretty good store for all kind of airbrushing stuff. Uh, but yeah, I've been wanting to get one of these bad boys for the longest time now. And I've actually been using the Iwata Highline for probably between 13 to 14 years now. So over a decade. And I've really been enjoying uh, using that airbrush. Of course I upgraded it once in a while. You know, you get bent needles and things like that, so you have to keep it going somehow. And I decided, you know what, it's about time to upgrade my game a little bit and get something even better. So, let's see what's inside the box. So what we have here is a cloth, which of course has the Iwata logo. Not sure what I'm gonna do with that, probably nothing. Um, the airbrush itself comes in a pretty nice, I think this is brushed aluminum box. And let's have a look at the airbrush itself. Oh yeah. This looks amazing. So what I got is the Iwata CMC Plus, which means it has the Mac valve, which allows you to control the airbrusher that's going uh, through the airbrush uh, without being uh, forced to fiddle out around with the settings of your compressor which is really nice. Uh, my Highline also has the same feature so I definitely wanted to get that. Uh, it also comes with a moisture trap that you screw into the handle. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be using this uh, maybe in the summer months when it's more humid this might actually come handy, but yeah, not really sure if I'm going to use this. And also it comes with lube, which I can't get out. Come on. Yeah, I actually have this already, so I think I'm set for life when it comes to uh, the lube. Also, it comes with um, instructions, manual, if you will. Uh, probably won't be using these as much, you know, because I'm a man and I no need no instructions. Uh, let's see. So apparently this guy tested your airbrush. Okay, cool. And here we have the test, which is numbered uh, 100 and... Is that 19 or 18? I think 19. And we get a sticker. Cool. So what I think I will do is I'm going to do a little bit of a demo between this and my previous airbrush, the Highline, and see if there's any differences between the two. Um, yeah, so let's do that. All right, so here we have my previous workhorse, the I Want a Highline, which has seen some better days, let's be honest. It's quite dirty at the moment, which doesn't really bother me. As long as it's clean from the inside, that's all that matters to me. And this one is. Um, if you're getting a little bit more serious in your airbrushing, uh, I would definitely recommend going with this one. I mean, it has served me over a decade and I can vouch for this. Of course, you might need to change some parts uh, throughout the years, but they're not that expensive. Um, but yeah, the physical dimensions uh, are pretty similar with these two airbrushes, actually. Uh, both of them have the Mac valve, which controls the air pressure from the airbrush itself, which is a really nice feature to have. Um, both of them have an excellent trigger stop. Although I feel like on the uh, Highline, it's a bit more flimsier or wobblier uh, than on the Custom Micron, which I would actually expect because this is quite a bit more expensive. 
Uh, of course, the other difference that is quite big to me uh, is the trigger. This one has a nice beefy square uh, trigger, which suits my sausage fingers perfectly. So I definitely prefer this one over the uh, high lines. Um, other than that, uh, they're pretty pretty similar, I would say. Uh, although I, I do feel like this is a bit more premium. You can definitely feel it when, when you're holding this and uh, fiddling with all the knobs and stuff. This does feel that the um, tolerances are much more precise. But um, yeah, the other difference is that you don't see is that on the high line I have a 0.18 millimeter needle and uh, nozzle configuration. And on the new custom micron, I have 0 0.23 millimeter uh, nozzle and needle, which technically means that the um, high line should be more accurate, but we'll see about that. To make sure that the test is going to be fair, I'm going to be running both of the airbrushes at the same exact pressure, and which is going to be 20 psi or uh, 1.2 bars. For the precision test that I intend to do, I'm going to be using this uh, Vallejo uh, Premium Airbrush Color in black. And I'm going to just add two drops. And no reducer. All right, we're going to start with the Highline Airbrush first. And I'm just going to paint fins. I think that's the best test that I can put these two airbrushes through. So let's see what happens. Both of them have the Mac valve uh, set to completely fully open. Again, to make sure that the test is going to be fair and accurate. All right, next we're gonna do the um, custom micron. And uh, one thing I forgot to mention about this airbrush that is kind of neat. You can actually attach the needle cap on the back here for safekeeping, which will save you a lot of headache, I'm sure, in the future. Anyways, let's do the fin. Everything is still exactly the same. I haven't changed any of the settings.
Okay, so let's have a closer look at the results. So here we have the high line and as you can see the paint has a lot of like graininess. The atomization of the paint is not as good as it could be. So let's look at the custom micron. And I think it's pretty clear that the uh, atomization of the paint is much better. The lines are much more crisp and yeah, I dig the results overall better. All right, that's all from me now. I hope you guys enjoyed this little demo of the custom Micron versus the Iwata Highline. And yeah, I had a lot of fun doing this. I actually did it completely differently than I usually would. Uh, I'm actually voice overing while I'm actually showing you this. Usually I do it in post which is a bit faster for me, but you know, you want to try new things, am I right? But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, see you guys on the next one.